Oh How's it going? God. We're talking. We're talking about Britney Spears. So, so, so the court. The so Jamie's Jamie's lawyer also asked the court to unseal all of Britney's medical documents to to make them completely public, saying that the public has a right to know. Number one, no, the public does not have a right to know anyone's medical documents as far as anything is concerned, for any purpose, really. Like like name 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 the reason. What's the what's the public interest in her medical documents? Um, He's not the so father. That's the reason you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be wild if we found that out in this case. Um, yeah. But uh, if 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 after everything it turns out he's not even her father. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but it's just it's such an outrageous claim because you know that they're that they're just doing it to try to intimidate Brittany to try to say like hey you know you had all of these issues before and and maybe you even have issues now. And we want to make that make that public because they're saying, you know, she's she's got she's got the publicity. She's got, you know, all of these. Uh, she's got her 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 uh, her, you know, Britney's law army that's that's fighting for her in the in the public domain. And and, you know, we, we have no way of, of combating that. So they were like, you know, for those reasons, we should have have these medical records uh, be made public to everyone. And and the court, I believe, decided no. Because that that's that's just an insane claim. That's that's insane, right? Like the mm -hmm. anyway, I, I thought that was particularly outrageous. Um, but uh, but one, let me see here. If I have, um, and to the person asking if I sleep, the answer is no. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay. So and then one thing, one last thing about this was one other apparently stunning moment. So according to Elizabeth Wagmeister, so she works for, for variety. She was there in the courtroom and live tweeting. Um, she said that there was, she says uh, in a tweet here, a stunning moment in the courtroom today, Jamie's lawyer said, let's remember why this conservatorship was put in place. Ms. Spears was irresponsible with her finances. And then to which judge Penny responded, please let's not go there. Let's not go down that road. Can you imagine after all of this, you know, I, I was I was one person that was saying, you know, before before the conservatorship was ended, when there was this whole controversy for for months and months, I was saying, you know, we don't really know all the information. We don't know her medical history. We don't know, you know, there's there's so much information that we publicly don't know. So I was uncomfortable with, with saying, yes, of course, the conservatorship should be ended <laughs> when I, there's just this massive vacuum of information. But this suggests that the prime reason or maybe only reason why she was under this conservatorship was because she was financially irresponsible, to which I respond, that is completely the wrong reason to put someone under a conservatorship. If that is yeah. the only reason, like the reason, the only reason to put someone under a conservatorship is because they don't have capacity, either yes. because they are a minor or because they are an adult and there's something that is that is interfering with their ability to actually make decisions. She should be allowed to bankrupt herself. If she wants to yes. go out there and spend all of her money, she has absolutely the right. Like most, like by the way, like most wealthy people do, like most people in Hollywood, if she wants to go out say. there and do, and do all the I drugs and she wants to go get in and do waste all of her money, that is an American thing. We support people wasting their money on drugs, sex, and rock and roll. We, 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 we approve of that in America. You know, it's but very American. Yes, yes. And by the financial irresponsibility yardstick, I need a conservator also. So. <laughs> I know someone. Well, someone. Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on. How's the Hebrew need a conservator? Come on now. You guys are supposed to be controlling <laughs> the finances and the media. What's going on? Your good logic. Yeah, no, I, I missed it. that class. But, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone who doesn't need a financial conservator, if you're going to say it's, it, it doesn't need a conservator, if you say it's financial irresponsibility, we have literally 80% of Americans or some, some, this is sixty percent are drowning in debt, and you're gonna tell me that anyone who's financially responsible needs a conservator? That's ridiculous. I mean, I think yeah. it's seventy-five percent of people don't have access to like a thousand dollars in their bank account if they need it for an emergency or something like that. It's like a staggering amount of people. Uh, it, it's 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 insane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And and so I just that that little little revelation, and maybe you know, let this was apparently a very heated hearing so maybe this is just sort of cherry picked out of uh, a long discussion that they were having about the the merits of the underlying conservatorship you know when it happened but um so there's there's always a possibility that this was was sort of taken out of context somehow uh, right because i'm i'm getting this from a live tweet i'm not getting this from the actual transcript itself but mm. i mean if if this is like if this accurately portrays the statement that 
that Jamie's lawyer actually made in this case about the the underlying reason, the sole reason for having this conservatorship. Like that to me was just like, okay, come on. Like why why was I so freaking careful this whole time in evaluating this case <laughs> if that was the really the only thing? Um, so anyhow, I was like, I could have, I could have been on the Britney gang. I could have been on this whole, like the, the law army train for months and months and, and been, been grifting and, and, and railing about it. And there's a strong, over there's that. a strong <laughs> grift that he had there. I'm like, you know, next, next oh, yeah. time, next celebrity one, you got to jump on. I know, okay, I know, but gotta, I'm, I'm always careful though. Bitten. You gotta get that little free Britney T-shirt with a plate and fork and, and spoon logo next to it. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. Free Britney to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Free exactly. Britney one bite at a time. Something exactly. Like that. Freeing Britney one bite at a time.